Hello everybody, this is Karthik Poovan, I'm a Mama leadership coach, author and a travel explorer. How are you all doing today? Beautiful sunset and an absolutely vibrant environment to come so deep into the forest, experiencing the lake nearby would never ever be possible if I was not in grace. To realize the presence of grace and to feel one calm and connected with oneself is truly an incredible blessing. Many people often don't realize and count their blessings. You just read about all of these things. You must count your blessings. You must learn to have gratitude. All these things are only there to send an SMS. SMS message, WhatsApp message. Put it in the status. But when it comes to your practical application, you miss it largely. Let me ask you this question and be honest enough to answer that for yourself. You don't have to message me, you don't have to comment. Just ask yourself, the last one week of your life, have you been feeling very, very vibrant and energetic? Did you feel that being calm, pleasant is your sole responsibility? We are not living in an age where, like very early part of the civilization, the external situations are taken care of. But the internal situation today remains completely unattended. There's so much of struggle to feel great and calm and pleasant. And many people are lost just trying to please somebody in their life. There is deep pain that people have. Rejection from the society because nobody wants to accept you the way you are. If you say I'm joyful and you smile, you do not have appreciation coming. You do not have acknowledgement coming. And when you don't have acknowledgement and appreciation coming, because you're joyful, very naturally your brain begins to form a neural pathway and a deep level of understanding comes into your mind which works completely against your well-being that I must become somebody so that the world will accept me, the world will praise me. When you say you are joyful, you are happy, you are energetic, you are vibrant, very, very limited percentage of people, extremely limited percentile of people will feel happy for you, will feel joyful for you. Majority will only, you know, like your material accomplishments. If you achieve something, maybe you become a doctor, maybe you become an engineer after that and from a very good university, after that you get a high paying job, then you buy a nice car, then you buy a nice house, then you marry, then you have children, then you put them into school and grind them through the same process that your parents did to you and give them expectations and benchmarks and make them feel like dumb people who just are worthless if they are not getting that grades. And then go through enormous torture when they don't have the time to speak to you. Stop being a maniac. Yes, many of you are behaving like maniacs. You are not taking responsibility for your well-being. You are not declaring to yourself 
that you have to take an active responsibility for your own life. And when you don't take an active responsibility for your own life, you are in many ways losing focus on your life, losing focus on your well-being. And there you begin to enter a deep trap, a trap that I call as hopeless state, unfulfilled desires, frustrated, anxious and progressing at a very fast pace towards depression. And you can avoid progressing at a fast pace towards depression if you are in a position to know what is it that you truly desire? What do you truly desire? Life. You desire life. You desire love. You want to be very joyful. You just want to feel nice about yourself. You want to breathe. And if you are waiting for other people to acknowledge the celebration, forever you will remain unfulfilled. And by forever remaining unfulfilled, you will never ever realize the presence of joy in your life. So the first thing is discard, absolutely discard the sheer sense and the desire to be acknowledged for your internal states. You're feeling nice, right? Why do you need other people to give you a thumbs up? You do not need other people to give you a thumbs up. Take accountability for your life. And the more accountability you take for your life, the more progressive your life is going to be. The more vibrant you're going to experience life here. Have a great day, everybody. This is Karthik Poovan. I'm a leadership coach and travel explorer. And I'm going to be taking some very, very wonderful pictures of this absolutely amazing sunset. This is a good experience. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> What's so amazing? This is absolutely amazing. And I thank Lord Balaji for his gracious presence kissing the image of Lord and saying Jai 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 Balaji <laughs> Amazing it's the presence of Lord which creates so much of vibrancy which gives so much of energy to be experiencing these moments is very gracious and to also share my thoughts is very gracious. Have a great day everybody. This is Karthik Povanam. I'm a leadership coach, author and travel explorer. I will see you in another amazing video. Good day.